Hey everyone, John Stitt here, back with the second episode in my Road to the Arnold series where I'm updating you on how things are going with my training and any updates coming out about the Arnold competition coming up in March. If you haven't seen episode one yet, you can click up here or wherever I decide the link fits best uh, in it. I discuss the announcement of the Arnold and a little bit about what my plans are. So stay tuned and we will get into recent announcements and how things are going. All right, so since my last episode, a few things have happened. Uh, first off is that I have a birthday on the 28th, followed by my anniversary on the 30th. So this was four years since my accident. Um, I'd say things have gone fairly well. And, uh, you know, at this point, it, I didn't even realize that it had happened until the day afterwards. So uh, I'd say that's a good thing. All right, moving on. Since my last episode, the events for the Arnold were announced, and uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good mix we've got here. Um, it's actually going to be held over two days. We'll be having one event on Saturday, and then we will have four more events on Sunday. Whereas last year, all of the events were held on Sunday. Uh, that'll be pretty nice hopefully have some time to recover before Sunday and have a little bit less that we have to do in one day so hopefully lead to better performances all around. Um, as far as the events go, like I said, five events on day one Saturday. The first event will be the dumbbell press medley. Uh, I haven't seen weights announced anywhere or a number of dumbbells. If it's anything like last year, I believe we had a, um, I believe last year it was up to about a 105 pound dumbbell somewhere around there and there were I want to say five dumbbells uh, I don't remember exactly I should have done some looking into it before this video but you can go look at my video from the Arnold competition and find out for yourself how many there were uh, as far as how I think I'll do on that that should be a pretty good event for me. Last year, I won that event narrowly. The I won by time, uh, but it was by a very small fraction of a second. Only a, f I think only two or three of us actually completed all of the dumbbells. So uh, my pressing has improved since last year. Hopefully, that leads to an even faster time. And if they made the dumbbells heavier, then you know, hopefully that helps me out there as well and I can have a repeat performance and win that event. On to Sunday. On Sunday, four events. First event will be the hand over hand pull. Last year we did that with a tire full of weights, so essentially a sled pull, arm over arm with a rope. Um, we'll be sitting down, last year it was on the floor. I, I, all I know is it's a hand over hand pull, so I didn't do great on that last year. We were sitting on the floor and we had a harness holding us to something behind us. And normally the way we've done it has been if we have the harness, we're sitting in a wheelchair or some other sort of seat. Uh, last year with us just sitting on the floor, what ended up happening to me was my butt kept sliding out in front of me. And I ended up in a really bad position by the end of the pull. And, uh, I, I completed it, but not anywhere near the time that I wanted to. So hopefully this year that goes a little bit better. I'm a little bit more prepared if things are set up like last year, and I'm training the arm over arm pull a lot more than I was before, because I, I can pull pretty much anything you throw at me, but speed has been my downfall, so I'm putting a lot more time in to make sure my hand speed is faster, and this year I can come in and hopefully smoke everybody in that event. Second event will be the Farmer's Hold. Uh, I imagine that will be us sort of deadlifting two farmer's walking implements into a you know, upright seated position, holding them at our sides and holding them for time. So essentially a Hercules hold, but with the weights pulling down on you instead of pulling you apart. This should be a good event for me. Grip has always been one of my strong suits and uh, hopefully that Hopefully that goes into this event and I can hold on, deal with the pain, and do a better job than anybody else. 
Next event would be sack loading. I honestly have no idea what that means. Um, I imagine that means sandbags. I imagine that means moving them from one platform to another. I don't know if they're going to be like we've done Atlas Stones, where one's on one side, we move it over to the other, or if it's going to be like we did it in Worlds, where there's a big gap in between them and we have to roll the wheelchair back and forth. Honestly, I did not like that event. I thought it was terrible. Didn't seem like a test of strength at all, and the wheelchair was falling apart, so that didn't help either, but I have good word that we'll be having a better wheelchair this year for the Arnold, so that that would help if it's done like that. Either way, I plan on being prepared. I'm getting my wheelchair out of storage, going to start doing a lot of sprints with it, things like that, get used to rolling in the wheelchair as quickly as possible, and you know, be ready to go. So, last event will be the Atlas Stones. Almost always for us, that's the last event. Um, another good event for me, for the Atlas Stones, I, I've won that in years past, or I've been in the, the top couple, in top, you know, two or three at, at worst. So it's, it's, it's a good event for me. Um, I just hope they make it as heavy as possible, because that's another one of those events where I don't like to move fast, and if they make it heavy, I can move pretty much anything. Uh, I'll just I'll do it at the same speed as if you get made it lighter. So I want it to be heavy. I want it to be difficult. I want to be one of the only people who finishes the event. All right, as far as other updates, I have pretty much finished my training plan for the Arnold. Have about 12 weeks of training I've used I used last week to test some things out figure out exactly what I wanted to do and now I think I've got things lined up ready to go sorry for my computer making noise let me mute that just in case it happens again um, but yeah uh, I'm not gonna go into specifics if you want to keep up with my training log I detail it all on photocracy that's uh, fitocracy.com. You can find me. My username is Sporus, S-P-0-R-U-S. And I try to put everything up there so that people there can keep up with what I'm doing, but mostly I put it there so that I can keep up with what I've done. Um, essentially, it boils down to I'm going to be trying some new things and working on getting a lot faster, working on getting my endurance up, getting my cardio up, and not losing any strength. So hopefully that means that my weaknesses will be shored up and I can come into this competition better than ever. All right, so this video was a little bit shorter than last week's, a little bit more to the point. Uh, thank you for watching. If you watched the first one, thank you for deciding that you know I wasn't super boring and you tuned in for a second one. There's gonna be more. Hopefully I can keep this up each week. Um, if there's gonna be a break or something I apologize for that in advance but with holidays coming up don't know how things are gonna go I'm hoping the time off means it'll be easier to shoot the videos and I'll try and put some training footage in in future videos but I don't have any new videos since my thanks lifting stuff so um, but again I appreciate you watching and stay tuned for more